All Star Conference top six get in. Are you are you locked in right now with just one match for you to go, or since some people have a couple to go? No, we're locked in. The only thing that can change is uh, you know who, maybe some spots above us, below us, that kind of thing. Uh, we're locked into the tournament. We could still finish anywhere between sixth and fourth, okay. depending on what happens. So if uh, WT has two games, if they win both, and we don't win, then they can move above us into fifth. You have a home match here on. Friday, senior day. Can you talk about your two seniors and what you expect out of them on their final home match? Well, Megan Schaefer and Brandy Baker have been, been with the program since I got here in 2008. Uh, you know, I was just talking with Megan about her first uh, game with us, and it was an overtime win. She scored the, the game winner, and uh, so it was nice to see that on Friday night against WT, she got the game winner in that game, too. So uh, it would have been nice to see her score a few more goals. I'm sure she'd love that, too. But uh, She's a great person, you know, she's the, I think she's uh, extremely involved with SAC, she's been their secretary and she has a role with them now, I'm not sure if it's president or, or what it is, but she's been very involved with them. She's very involved with our team, community service things that we do, making sure that we do things like um, working in the soup kitchen, uh, meals for the elderly, delivering those, uh, to the penny wars, to everything. She's, she's been really like our team mom these last couple of years and uh, she's a captain this year. And so just a, a really great person to have on our team. Uh, and a great student as well. Uh, Brandy has been a, a very important player for us as well. Uh, Brandy uh, has been developing over the four years and, and basically now she's our go-to player up front. She's also a very good student and uh, her and Megan are both from New Braunfels so they've, this will be the cap of their at least eight years playing together, uh, probably more in, in club soccer than that before high school. So uh, it's going to be a, probably an emotional day for, the, for those two. And uh, but. You know, they've both done a great job for us, and I think they've, they've done a great job of representing ASU Athletics and, and ASU in general. Coach, I know you said you're locked in, but how important would it be to, to get that last one of the season at home and moving forward and get a little momentum heading into the, to the tournament? It's very important. I mean, playing at home is, is important to us that we show our fans how well we can play. And, uh, you know, I think on Sunday, I think we played okay in parts, but it definitely was not our best game. And uh, to kind of give Eastern third place and move us down into the, the tie for fourth, you know, it, it was it hurt a little bit, um, but we've got to bounce back. And Incarnate's going to come in. The, the great thing for us is that the game's going to mean something. Incarnate has to win that game, and they have to hope that WT doesn't win both of their games. Uh, otherwise, Incarnate's out. So as far as getting prepared for the tournament, it's going to be a great preparation for us. How we respond to that, we never know until the game starts. So uh, hopefully, it's a good response and gives us some confidence going into the, the conference tournament, which, you know, most likely it looks like we'll play Commerce. So, you know, our confidence needs to be high going into that game. One more home match to go here. Uh, what do you need to see out of your team and your teammates before you start the Lone Star Conference Championship Tournament? Uh, we just need to finish on Friday strong. We need that win. And I guess just effort. And we know we made it into the conference tournament, it's just kind of where we finish up and just a whole lot of effort from the team. The coach mentioned he feels that y'all need some confidence going into the championships. What do you need to do in order to, to get the confidence as high as you can get? Um, I guess yesterday we had all those shots and we didn't really score any goals. So we just kind of got to reassure ourselves that we can get those goals. And for us, once we get one, sometimes they kind of just come to us and it's just working hard to get that one goal and putting everything into it. Obviously, you want to make a run into the tournament, so what are some of the things you can work on in practice this week and kind of hone in on some things besides, I mentioned goal scoring, but maybe some other things, ball security, that sort of thing. Uh, definitely keeping the ball, not giving away. Communication has kind of been up and down for us this season. It's gotten a whole lot better um, in some of the games, and it's just kind of the defense talking to the midfield and it's kind of just working out those little things that need to be done.